हेलो क्लास एट दिस इज योर चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन दैट इज एडवर्ब्स एंड डिग्रीज ऑफ कंपैरिजन गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड थ्री इन योर ग्रामर बुक्स दिस इज योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट वी आर डूइंग इन ग्रामर फॉर योर फाइनल कोर्स एडवर्ब्स वट आर एडवर्ब्स इफ यू हैव रेड पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच यू हैव सीन दिस वर्ड एडवर्ब्स एंड यू आर रीडिंग दिस एडवर्ब्स सिंस क्लास आई थिंक फोर्थ और फिफ्थ एज वेल सो वी नो वॉट इज एडवर्ब्स एडवर्ब्स मीन एडिंग मीनिंग टू वर्ब दिस इज द बेसिक मीनिंग ऑफ एडवर्ब्स आई होप यू रिमेंबर दिस नाउ सी वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन गिवेन हियर एंड एडवर्ब इज अ वर्ड दैट एड्स समथिंग मोर टू द मीनिंग ऑफ अ वर्ब एंड एडवर्ब कैन मॉडिफाई वर्ब एडजेक्टिव और अनदर एडवर्ब सो वॉट इज एडवर्ब वॉट एडवर्ब इज अ वर्ड दैट एड्स मीनिंग मोर मीनिंग टू अ वर्ब or it can modify verb adjective and another adverb as well okay see this examples he speaks clearly they were extremely tired she spoke very softly so we see that these words like clearly extremely very are your adverbs okay now the next thing is that kinds of adverbs what are the kinds of adverbs the first one is adverbs of time what is the adverb of time they tell us about the action time of action and they answer the question when like the boys are sleeping now so boys are sleeping when when the boys are sleeping they are sleeping now so you can understand by this then second is adverbs of place this indicate where an action took place and you have to answer the question where see the example due to floods there was water everywhere okay then there is adverbs of frequency like how often that action took place okay like she visits her friend occasionally how often she visits her friend occasionally all right then the next is adverbs of degree they in- indicate the intensity of an action and they answer the question how much he almost fell asleep when the movie ended then adverbs of manner they tell us about the action the way an action took place okay like the prince fought bravely in the battle how he fought he fought bravely then next is relative adverbs relative adverbs refers to the thing or person that the pronouns refer to and they sometimes act as conjunction as well like do you remember when we last visit the planetarium this is the example then is interrogative adverbs they ask they are used to ask question about time place manner number quantity and reason some examples are when how when why like where does she live when will you call back how many students paid for the trip so these are your kinds of adverbs okay now we have sentence adverbs sentence adverbs are those that modify a complete sentence and not just part of it such words are formed by adding ly to adjectives see like you see this word evident becomes evidently if we add ly certain becomes certainly if we add ly then perhaps fortunately happily and clearly these are some words these are your sentence adverbs which are changed by adding ly except perhaps okay see the example clearly they performed well and won the trophy then second obviously the criminal had to be punished by law then adverbs of reason these adverbs logically connect the conclusion with the argument made in the previous sentence like example i am not keeping well hence i am unable to accompany you see if you just um read the second part that is hence i am not unable to sorry i am not i am unable to accompany you it is just making a conclusion to the first argument that is given in the previous sentence like i am not keeping well that is the reason i am unable to accompany you so you can get the this is the conclusion then the players did not attend the practice session therefore the team had to pay a fine to the cricket board so that is the conclusion of the first sentence all right now see this exercise a what you have to do you have to 
uh, read the following sentences then the underlined words are adverbs that is for sure and what you have to do you have to state the kind of adverb see the first one puneet readily agreed to do the work it's adverb of manner then second she has to be to london twice twice is frequency how often twice then second lunch is almost ready almost is degree then fourth is sneha is feeling better today better is manner fifth i can hardly wait for the winter vacation hardly is degree sixth the children will go to the airport tomorrow tomorrow is time seventh the market is nearby nearby is place eighth samarth woke up early early is time ninth is she swims better than me better is manner tenth this is enough you need not add more sugar enough is degree eleventh we sometimes play volleyball sometimes it's frequency twelfth the rain brought much respite from the sweltering heat much is degree all right now the next is degree of comparison you know what is degree of comparison of adverb are positive comparative and superlative you have to add er to become comparative degree and est for superlative degree okay and uh, adverbs ending in ly form their comparative by adding more and most okay see this example near becomes nearer nearest hard become harder hardest caution is cautiously become more cautiously most cautiously confidently become more confidently most confi confidently elegantly become more elegantly most elegantly far become farther farthest well become better best much become more and most see this exercise b you have to fill with the right degree of comparison my aunt welcomed me warmly my cousin welcomed me more warmly than my aunt my grandpa welcomed me most warmly of them all then second shishan enjoyed the picnic hari enjoyed the picnic more than shishan sridhar enjoyed it most of them all then third roshni works efficiently as a computer engineer neeta works more efficiently as a computer engineer than roshni mukta works most efficiently among them all okay now next is formation of adverbs how can we form adverbs adverbs can be formed by adding ly to the adjectives and nouns like warm becomes warmly happy becomes happily lazy become lazily cheerful become cheerfully slow becomes slowly eager, eager becomes eagerly many words ending in ly are not adverbs like cowardly lonely friendly lively and lovely these are adjectives like it is a lovely view he is a friendly person these are not adverbs these are adjectives now one adverb for several word this is important okay adverbs can also be used to express something that requires several word like seetha treated her in a kind manner you can write seetha treated her kindly then b preetha shouted at the beggar in anger preetha shouted at the beggar angrily so in this way we are going to do this exercise c replace the underlined word with suitable adverbs and rewrite the sentence first is she danced in a graceful manner graceful manner becomes gracefully so answer will be she danced gracefully second ramu left the village in a great hurry ramu left the village hurriedly next is please reply to this letter without any delay please reply to this letter immediately fourth at present mr dev is our math teacher presently mr dev is our math teacher fifth rahul spoke to the teacher with hesitation ramu spoke to the teacher hesitatingly sixth the sports teacher told the children again and again to wear sports shoes for the pt period the sports teacher told the children repeatedly to wear sports shoes for the pt period seven the clothes have to be washed by hand the
the clothes have to be washed manually. Eighth, Martina did her work in a responsible way. Martina did her work responsibly. Ninth, the old man walked very slow, so he missed the train. The old man walked slowly, so he missed the train. Tenth, the discussion will go on without an end. The discussion will go on endlessly. All right. So, write these answers very carefully. As I told you, this ex exercise is important. Then, see the exercise D. Use the word given in bracket. Form suitable adverbs. Filling the blanks with adverbs. Amir solved the sum accurately. Second, the monster appeared suddenly. Third, there was a vacancy and they employed her temporarily. Fourth, I can play happily with the children for a long time. Fifth, did she lock the main gate securely? Sixth, we settled down comfortably in the train. Then see this exercise E, filling the blank with the comparative of the adverbs given in the bracket. You just need to use a comparative degree. Since I hate driving, I will live closer to my workplace. Second, I asked her to speak louder as she was not audible. Third, mother told her to work harder if she wanted to do well in her exams. And fourth, I should wake up earlier and leave on time every day. So this finishes exercise E. From the next video, we'll start uh, from position of adverbs. I hope there is no problem till here because you know you know this chapter. It is easy. There's nothing much to do and understand. You just need to go through the kinds of adverbs once. That is most important. You should understand which is what kind of adverb. All right. So go through it and. Write all the exercises in your copies and books. And we'll, now we'll meet in the next video and we'll finish this chapter. Till then, bye and take care students.